بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اکرا حفیظ اینڈ یو واچنگ دیسی ٹی وی یو ایس اے لیٹس ایو لوکیٹ دا کشمیر نیوز آن دا ریپبلک ڈے آف انڈیا بلیک ڈے از بینگ سیلیبریٹیڈ ان اکوپائڈ کشمیر دا ہوریت کانفرنس سیز ان دس ریکارڈ دیٹ انڈیا ہیز نو رائٹ ٹو سیلیبریٹ اٹس ریپبلک ڈے ان دا اکوپائڈ ٹیریٹری The Hurriyat Conference has demanded that the international community take notice of the Indian state terrorism in occupied Kashmir. The international community should force India to give Kashmiris the right to self-determination. India has denied all basic rights of Kashmiris. According to KMS, Kashmiris on both sides of the line of control and around the world are celebrating Black Day today. The reaction of Kashmiri Hurriyat leader Yasin Malik's wife, Mashal Malik, has come out on India's so-called Republic Day. While issuing a video statement on India's Republic Day on social media, Mashal Malik said that India is celebrating Republic Day again with many false claims. India has deprived Kashmiris of freedom, right to live and die for 70 years. Malik said that one million Indian troops are oppressing day and night in occupied Kashmir. The occupying Indian forces are burning the homes and settlements of Kashmiris while also desecrating the graves of Kashmiris. Khadim Hussain and Sabah Shabir Komi, the leaders of the all-party Huryat Conference in India's illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, paid tribute to the murders of the Handwara massacre on their 33rd martyrdom day. On the last day of 1990, at least 21 Kashmiris were martyred and dozens were injured as a result of Indian soldiers firing on peaceful protesters in the town of Handwara in the occupied Kashmir Valley. This demonstration was carried out by Indian soldiers a few days ago in Goa Kadal area of Sirinagar. The massacre of people is being done against. Khadim Hussain and Sabah Shabir Komi in a joint statement issued in Sirinagar said that the brutal killing of peaceful protesters in Handwara is another black spot on the face of the so-called Indian democracy. He said that the sacrifices of the Kashmiri martyrs are a valuable asset of the freedom movement and it is a result of these sacrifices that the Kashmir issue has become the center of attention at the global level. Pakistan has urged those promoting the concept of responsibility to protect worldwide to consider the need for collective action to protect the people of Jammu and Kashmir and the occupied territories of Palestine. Pakistan's Deputy Permanent Representative to the United Nations, Amir Khan, in a special session of the United Nations Economic and Social Council on social and economic measures to prevent genocide, war crimes, genocide and crimes against humanity, said that India's illegally occupation, he stressed the need for protection of the citizens of Jammu and Kashmir, Muslims living in India and Palestinian citizens. He said that the India has violated several resolutions of the Security Council on the free and fair referendum on the Kashmir issue for more than seven decades. In Jammu and Kashmir, through force and deception, the Kashmiris have been deprived of their right to self-determination. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching Desi TV USA or visit our website desitvusa.com.